Hello, welcome back to my car cave. I wanted to share two new cars uh, from my collection. Uh, again, these are not new to purchase. Uh, they've been out for a while, but they are new for, for me. Anyways, uh, both of these are from the 2021 24 Hours of Le Mans race. On the left-hand side, you have the uh, winning car of the Toyota, the GR10 Hybrid. Uh, and then on the right-hand side, you have the Glickenhaus 007. Um, Glickenhaus was new to Le Mans in uh, 2021, so I look forward to uh, reviewing this this car with you. Let's go ahead and take them off the base and uh, we'll take a closer look. Now that we've gotten them off the base, uh, if I didn't mention it before, both of these cars are from Spark. Spark kind of makes all the Le Mans cars in 118th scale, or at least the modern, uh, the modern ones. Um, anyway, so this is the Le Mans winning car. It does come with a 24 hour Le Mans trophy. It's not something I ever really display, so I just leave it in the package, but I wanted to show you guys. Um, the cars obviously come on a base that you saw earlier. Uh, this is the new hybrid uh, era of Le Mans. It was supposed to en entice many of the manufacturers like McLaren, Ferrari, Porsche, and all of them to get back into the racing uh, and have cars that were designed to look more like road cars. What I understand or I believe is that each of these manufacturers has to make a road going version of this car so Toyota uh, will be making and selling one and Glickenhaus will be doing the same. Uh, unfortunately at least for 2021 and 2022 uh, those other manufacturers did not materialize however uh, for the upcoming 2023 year um, we will be seeing Ferrari coming back, uh, Porsche um, as well as I think you know Peugeot maybe even Cadillac I can't, I can't recall. Um, anyway, so the racing is set to get much better. Uh, Toyota has enjoyed a five race win streak um, and you know I can argue it's been a lack of competition that has helped drive that. But anyway, so this was kind of nice uh, you know, from a collecting point of view. It's just nice to have a car that looks uh, different than the other ones. Uh, the, the past 10 years you know, leading up to this was a huge engineering exercise. All the cars look very similar. Um, also distressing was the fact that the cars were always red, white, and black between Porsche, Audi, and Toyota. They all, yeah, Toyota had a blue and white scheme, but for some reason, <laughs> they, they, when they started winning, they actually changed this, and maybe that's the key to winning, is I have a red, white, and black paint scheme. Anyway, so that's the hybrid uh, from Toyota. Again, that was Kobayashi was the main driver. He was, he's the pole king at Le Mans. Um, but never the winner. Uh, he finally broke that duck uh, in 2021. So this car is the uh, Glickenhaus 007. Um, really neat car, neat story. Uh, James Glickenhaus is out of New York um, and they had a dream to go to Le Mans and in about a year's time they put together a car uh, and raced two cars at Le Mans in 2021 and both of them finished. Uh, finishing four and five respectively behind the two Toyotas and the Alpine that year. Uh, this is uh, just a really beautiful looking car. It's just different than anything else. It's not red, white, and black like everything else. Um, has a real old school uh, design element to it with the giant front headlights, the big uh, fenders. Uh, Glickenhaus is a, a noted car collector. Uh, a guy who really appreciates older, older Le Mans cars, older cars in general, uh, has known to have a, a nice collection, drives them uh, regularly, uh, shows a lot of his cars at Pebble Beach, and it's just nice to have an American uh, leading a charge at Le Mans. Um, this car was their first outing and their first going. They uh, raced again this year, finishing third. Um, and so, anyways, you know, that's, that's definitely progress. The competition is only going to get stiffer uh, this season, but it's it's great. You know, it's a real success story, and, and the Glickenhaus group is uh, an amazing group of individuals. If you ever get to to meet them, I've been lucky to meet Jim on occasion. Um, and so, anyways, this is the Glickenhaus 007. I think it's a beautiful car. Uh, it was has a Peepo engine. They're famous for doing WRC cars. It's a 3.5 liter twin turbo. Uh, Sauber dealt with some of the aerodynamic designs. Uh, if you're an F1 fan, this kind of 
divided air duct system is very uh, typical of Sauber. You see it in their F1 cars, so it was super obvious when they they designed this car that Sauber had been involved. Um, anyways, and, and these cars are very different. Uh, if you look at them side by side, uh, much different size. Um, again, I think with the new regulations, is encouraging. Well, not drastically different, but different nonetheless. Um, yeah, they're encouraging different designs, different styles. So you don't, you know, the, the Audis and the Porsches and the Toyotas all kind of looked the same before. Now they look different. Um, so, anyways, that's uh, two two of the new Spark cars uh, for Le Mans. Uh, I expect the 2022 cars to be out here uh, shortly um, for both of these. And I know the Glickenhaus uh, they had a special blue livery uh, that they used a few races last year. I think they'll be using it at Le Mans this year. Um, so looking forward to that. Uh, let's go ahead and put these on the turntable and let you guys look at them. Thanks again. If you uh, like the video, please go ahead and uh, like, subscribe, and uh, look forward to the next one.